This is Praise Channel TV. You are welcome. I was a bushman. <laughs> I was a bushman. Watch and be shocked. Shortly after this time of prayer on Praise Channel TV. Father, in the name of Jesus, one more time, we are so excited to be available for your ministration through me today, Lord, on this telecast time. Jehovah, I make myself available for you to use me to your glory as I praise you and appreciate you for the things you are doing on this channel. The whole glory is yours. The whole praise is yours. The whole adoration is yours. Take all the glory, Jesus. Take all the praise, my Father. Limokupri itasika bala duzukata iprosusuki pravazana gabai delegezele. Holy Spirit, have your way. Take control, Lord. Take control, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to welcome you one more time to this channel for today's telecast. Uh, my name is Evangelist Chuks Chidube, aka Praise Channel. This kind God, your host by God's grace. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit that red subscribe button there and then click on the bell sign and of course hit the like button and leave a comment with us and help us to share this video to encourage someone and um, my social media handles are displayed there please send a word to me i want to gist with you and chat with you i'm so excited to have you here if you're coming for the first time you're welcome and if you're a regular visitor may god bless you for coming again and again for burning your data to watch this uh, channel and be part of this telecast we upload new content by god's grace god's grace every monday and friday between 5 30 a.m and 6 a.m nigeria time god bless you hey wonderful <laughs> i was a bushman watch and be shocked but let me read this scripture first before i get down to business zachariah chapter 4 verse 6 here the bible says then he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel saying not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Hmm. The, look at how the message Bible captured uh, the part, a part of that scripture. He said, you can't force these things. You can't force these things. They only come about through my spirit. You can't force these things. They only come about through my spirit. You can't force yourself to be who God has ordered you to be. They can only come by the Spirit of God because it's not by might nor by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord Almighty. So I, I'm, I'm coming with a special message to you today. And by the way, for those who are not Nigerians, they may not understand what you mean, what, what someone means when he says bushman. Bushman means somebody who is a kind of unexposed. It means somebody who is a kind of timid, somebody who may not even know how to combine colors and combine fashion. And just like somebody may call a village guy, you know, that kind of thing. I was really timid. But when I was growing up, I really desired to be fashionable and, you know, be on top of my game. I did my best and most times I would discover my best was not good enough. And something happened one day that portrayed this, that oh boy, you you used to think your best was good enough, but your best, my best was not good enough. So I, that's why I'm saying that it's not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. If you're having your acts together, if things are working fine and you're able to combine colors and look fashionable and make yourself look very pretty, you know, the hairstyle that fits you. By the way, this, my hair was forced on me by my baba several years ago. I think so. it was over 30 years ago. My baba forced me to start wearing this haircut and I discovered that it was nice on me, so I, I got stuck to it. And I, But before then, in fact, my hair was getting to this point. My, my wife said something. I hope she wouldn't mind. She said if I had that kind of hair when I came to propose to her, <laughs> it would not be very easy for her to say yes to me. Because imagine me getting my hair up to this point like a typical bushman and an and exposed man, a village champion. Serious matter. But look at it. An event happened. God can really transform somebody. I can't imagine where I am now to compare it to where I used to be. And if you came to my family several years ago and you looked for the one that looked like the one that would be an international personality looking very uh, uh, posh, uh, what's it called? Uh, posh, posh sometimes and, you know, swagalicious, somebody said, looking uh, current and modern in, in his dressing and his outlook and st stage moves and dance and everything. If you look for such person among my mother's nine children, maybe I would be the last because I, was, I didn't have 
the, the uh, likelihood of being a very fashionable person. So my best was not good enough. I will do my best to look fashionable most of the time those years, and I will still come out looking like a bush boy. But <laughs> thank God for showing mercy on me. But something happened. There was a convention of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship International. I was a part of the fellowship, and um, I was invited to a national convention where you had the... The, the big and the mighty in the gospel uh, preachers and all the teachers of the world. Some came from outside Nigeria, my country. And then um, myself, and to the glory of God, I was privileged to be among the few two major guest artists. Uncle Panam Percy Paul was the major guest artist. And myself, too, privileged to be among the well, it's called assistant major guest artists. So it was a, a, a massive program that everybody would desire to be invited to. And usually, when such convention comes, the first night, all the guest artists will so showcase their grace and their gifts. Okay, Then, subsequently, some of the days... In the morning session, one may not be called, the other one could be called. But, but first night, usually, because I was in fellowship for a long time, uh, the guest artists would all be invited to minister. So, first night, Panam Paul was called to minister, and I think some, someone else also was called to minister. And um, the service was coming to an end. I was not called. I was surprised. I said, what happened? But I was first formally invited. And it was not comfortable for me. I, I was already ready to go and minister. I was set to go and share with the body of Christ the gift God had given me and has given me as a music minister. And uh, I was not called. It was not funny to me. So um, at the end of the wonderful first night, I had to go and approach one of the coordinators. And I said, excuse me, sir. I, I am shocked, but forgive me. I don't know. Why was I not invited he said, to minister this first night as normal was the culture of the Full Gospel Business Fellowship. He told me, well, um, you are not well dressed. I look at myself from head to toe and I checked what I was wearing. I thought I was very sophisticated and posh and touche and current and modern. You know, I was ready to go and minister unto God's children in the national convention that was attended by people from different countries of the world. And uh, can I tell you what I was wearing that the guy said I was not well dressed. I was ashamed. In fact, it was, it was not funny. I discovered that... Um, my costume that I thought was so wonderful. I was wearing a typical native African dress. Let me get something down here. Typical native African dress, what they call native dress, typical native dress. And my shoe was something like this, a laced canvas and some cross spike. I don't know what they call it in your place. That was my shoe. I had it. <laughs> when I remember it, I love as an evangelist. Eh? This kind of stuff on top of a typical native dress, Bushman. That was what I was then. And the man said, that was why we didn't call you. You are not well dressed. Oh, I felt very ashamed. Then the next morning, I changed and wore suit. I, I wore suit and shoe and not my, my, knotted my tie well. And I was invited to minister the second night. And that was it. Did you see? It's not really by power. It's not really by might. It's by the help of the Holy Spirit. You will think you are getting your acts together. You will know you are missing the mark. I, I, I equate this with other aspects of life. Some people think they are, they are on. The Bible says, he that thinketh his standard should take heed lest he fall. Why? Because you think you are standing, but in actual fact, you are not. You are messing up. So it's better you look up to the Lord and depend on Jesus to help you to make sure you are in line. And even in your calling... The master determines whether you're on point and whether you're following the, the rules of the game and the, uh, the rules of the, uh, the calling you have in Christ Jesus, the high calling we have in Christ Jesus. The, the, the person that will mark you good or mark you bad or wrong is the almighty God. So I thought I was cool. I thought I was green. I thought I was on point. I thought I was sophisticated in my dress, wearing native dress with typical canvas, in, we call it in Nigeria and Africa, with lace and all that, but it was not the case. So... That's, that's my, I was a bushman, but thank God where God has brought me today. By his grace, he has helped me to understand what combination of colors and shoes and tie and all those, what they are all about. And I give him all the glory. I don't know about you. Is there an area of your life that things are not getting together, you know, matching up well, you are doing your best, yet people keep telling you, you are not doing well, you are not doing well. well go to the Lord in prayer and then the Holy Spirit will direct you the way he directed me. And now... I, I know I'm fashionable and people keep telling me, man, your fashion is awesome. I did not start like this. Now they call me a city guy, but I was a typical bush man living in the city. I give God all the glory. I give God all the praise. Child of God, receive grace to know what to do for your 
calling and how you carry out your calling and you live your life to be approved by the Almighty God. I celebrate with you ahead of time because I believe God will do something new in your life. Now, if you have not given your life to Jesus, please repeat this prayer after me. It's a wonderful place to start. Say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me all my sins. I accept you now as my personal Lord and Savior. Help me, Jesus, to serve you to the end. Satan, I reject you and your demons. I'm no longer yours. I've decided to follow Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Let me pray for you, Father. Thank you for this, your peculiar child. This your, your special child that decided to follow you, Lord Jesus. May you reign in this life as Lord and Savior forever. Thank you, Father. I bind the forces of darkness working against this one. And I declare you free in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that whosoever the Son of God, Jesus, has set free is free indeed. You are free all around in the name of Jesus. In your business, in your career, in your relationship, in your spiritual life, in your family, everything about you, I declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. And now the Lord has promised that those who have given their lives to him, prosperity, open doors, open heavens, increase, breakthrough, good husband, good wife, children, international open doors, cars, houses will be added to them. Let these and many more be added unto you according to your heart, desire, and needs. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for your time today. I give God all the glory. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the red subscribe button. Click on the bell sign and hit the like button and leave a comment with us. Of course, reach to me, reach out to me through my social media handles there. And one more time, I'm Evangelist Chuk Chidubeke, Praise Channel, This Kind God. See you next time as we hang out on this telecast in, on this channel. To God be all the glory. See you next time. Salute.